everybody and welcome to Rega Beivrit, Parashat Vayeshev. And of course, Chag Chanukah Sameach to all of you. This Torah portion in chapter 37, verse 1, starting with an important paradox. It says, Vayeshev Yaakov Be'eretz Megurei Aviv Be'eretz Knan. In one sense, it says that Jacob set in the land of his father, which appears to be something positive, returning to the root, returning back home. There is something very comforting about returning back to the land of your father, but it uses the word Vayeshev. The word Vayeshev does not just mean any set. It's speaking about Jacob becoming static, rather than dynamic, becoming passive rather than active. There is an important lesson to we have with World Vayeshev because immediately after that, we see the terrible tragedy that takes place between Joseph and his brothers. The rabbis of Israel teach us that all the story, all the calamity that took place between Joseph and his brothers is because Jacob had set. He was passive. He was not willing to continue the repair. As a reminder, last week in the portion, when Jacob met Esau, he promised Esau that he's going to go and rectify him. He's going to come and visit him. But it says that he never did. He went to Sukkot and Esau returned back the text says, back to his old ways. Pay attention to this. The word Vayeshev here in the text, suggesting to us that when one become passive, calamities come upon his life. If one want to overcome the travails of the Messiah, he must be active. And here in the text, he's telling us the following, the Ele, or excuse me, Ele told Yaakov, Yosef ben Shva Esre Shana. Again, here's the generation of Jacob. There is a pause there in the text. Why? Because he's speaking about the new birth that is coming into Jacob's life. You see, there's a new chapter that is Jacob is entering into. It's the chapter, the most difficult chapter of his life. It's a chapter of his life of Vayeshev. There is a different chapter of that, and we must be very careful of that, friends, of those chapters, the chapters of Vayeshev in our own life, beloved. And it says here that Yosef, Ben Shva Esre Shana. Now here is the interesting things about Joseph that I want you to think about. Aya Roe et Echav. The literal text says, Haya, he was Roe, shepherd. Now there is this little conjunction et Echav. The, the conjunction et refers to the possession of his brother. He is shepherding his own brothers. What the text suggesting here, that he is shepherding his own brother. Joseph is a shepherd after his own brothers. We have to understand what he's doing. But so on, again, through, he's watching them uh, getting the sheep and the goat, but what is hidden behind the text that most of us do not get is that he viewed Batson, his own brothers are like the sheep. He is the shepherd and they are the sheep. The text suggesting here that Joseph is the great shepherd over the sheep that is his own brothers. This is absolutely incredible. And of course here it says just later on, the Israel have it Yosef Mikol Banav ki ben sekunim hulo. And it says here that Israel loved Joseph. Not that Jacob loved Joseph, but that Israel loved Joseph. Every time that we see jo Jacob mentioned in the text as 
as Israel, it means that he's operating under the Holy Spirit, under the fullness of the Holy Spirit. And we have to understand that in this context because he is giving him what called here in Hebrew, kutonet pasim. Now this term, kutonet pasim, translated in your own Bible as a coat of many colors. But that's not what the Hebrew do said. The Hebrew uses the term pasim. The word pas in Hebrew means a garment of stripes. A stripes, like it says, by his own stripes, we were healed. Now the interesting thing that this Kuton, this garment it's called Pasim, is rooted in the Hebrew word Pusim, which is reconciliation. Another way to think about the garment is the garment of reconciliation. And the question is, how can you call the garment that brought so much division, how can you call it the garment of reconciliation? Well, beloved, we learned something very important about the same garment. The garment was not the real issue with the brothers. It simply revealed what was inside their hearts and it's allowed this calamity, ultimately allowed to bring reconciliation. In the end, after the troubles and the tribulation, but at the end of the day, the division is also going to bring reconciliation. I love the way David Ben-Gurion said it. He said, sometimes we have to go to war in order to have peace. This is exactly this story of jo Joseph and his brothers. They have to have kutonet pasim, a garment of reconciliation to bring shalom straight back into this dysfunctional family. And this is, friend, the Rega Beivrit for this week. Shalom, everybody.